Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel and this time we're doing um well today we're starting a brand new series actually like a new series of games which I've never played before um at least not recorded before this is DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition for the Xbox One also available on PS4 and PC uh, so yeah, this is the uh, reboot Devil May Cry game, and well, it had a <laughs> it did have a it caused quite a stir with the uh, Devil May Cry fans. So let's get started on this and see how see what it's like. So we got so the visual downfall is the DLC, which I'll do later. For now, we're just starting with Devil May Cry. And this is my uh, mission. <laughs> I uh, finished the uh, game. I've only completed this game once. So let's start a new save. And I guess, yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, I'm going to be playing on human mode because one, makes it easier to record, and two, I'm a bit of a bitch. Uh, one of the cool things about the uh, Definitive Edition is the fact that you get all the um, costumes of Dante unlocked uh, from the start. So we've got Standard Dante, the Classic, Dark Dante, Neo Dante, which looks odd, and DMC1 Dante, which is meh. We'll start with the Standard though. Okay. While I'm playing here, I'm going to put playing on it easy because one, uh, I just find it, it, you know, makes it easier to record and, uh, you know, less uh, chances of severe fuck-ups. And second reason, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bitch. So, let's get on with it. See tutorial messages I should play. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll start with it anyway. And we start off with the loading screen of uh, someone. <laughs> That's young Dante with his dead mother. Nice. Something tells me that that uh, uh, necklace around Dante's neck is actually going to come into play quite heavily. And opening cutscene. I will say that graphics look kind of nice. The uh, 1080p kind of I think it's 1080p 60 frames, definitely helps with this game. Um, it doesn't look ugly on yes, the PS3 or 360, or at least the um, the environments don't look ugly. It just looks uh, ever so slightly nicer. No, this is not a veiled threat. This is a direct one. Ah, there are no subtitles. Shit. I, I wasn't given the option to add these. Yeah, the biggest problem I have with the gra graphically is the uh, faces. Um, the models are fine, it's just... Uh, I don't know, they just don't look quite right. And maybe that was supposed to be um, the point. Supposed to give you the idea that they're kind of devil demons kind of masquerading as humans, I guess. Because this is the main villain, Mundus. And this is his mistress, I guess. Uh, Lilith, I believe her name is. And yeah, it's just the faces and the eyes are just a bit. Um, I don't know. I just don't like the way they look. They just don't look right. Dante looks okay. Virgil looks fine. Um, yes, Virgil's in this game. And <laughs> as if you can tell by the fact that we got Virgil's downfall DLC, but um, it's just these faces. They're just not. The rest of the faces just don't quite look right. Okay. Whatever you say, Mundus. It's made by Capcom, unless you didn't know. <coughs> Sorry about that. And basically, this is our. Uh, it's made by Ninja Theory, who I've never really heard of. 
before apart from this game uh, and this is their written and directed great and this is our first kind of introduction to um, Dante I guess it's kind of it's an odd way to introduce him I think I think that the the original Devil May Cry was a lot better in introducing Dante I just think here he just looks like a because in the original game he um, came across as kind of like uh, a badass but he was kind of like um, an arrogant kind of asshole badass if that makes any sense um, in this opening scene yeah fuck that smile in this uh, opening like kind of cinematic he just comes across as yeah okay <laughs> The uh, uh, you know, he comes across as more of just a out and out, straight out and out kind of asshole, uh, kind of the kind of guy who you'd want to punch in the face repeatedly, and he'd never get fucking old. <laughs> it just does not really. Yeah, okay, that's not needed. <laughs> It's just I think it gives the wrong impression of him straight off the bat. And I think that maybe was the point of the whole game of this introduction was to kind of <clears throat> be like you're going to hate this guy to start off with but then as you go as he goes through the game he becomes more and more kind of he develops in inverted quotes in quotation marks he he kind of grows as a character and you end up liking him but yeah no I just don't get him hi Virgil spoiler <laughs> and now we're waiting for yeah it's the one negative I will give about this game when you first play it for the first time is that um, cutscene wise it's a good how long's it been? Yeah, it's a good like uh, five or six minutes of a cutscene before you get into anything kind of. Um, it's a good five or six minutes of cutscenes before you actually get into any action, and we're still in cutscenes. Oh, seriously, dude, do you have to be? And once more, it's more of the characterization being absolutely horrendous. <laughs> it's just a bit of an arsehole. A bit of a prick, bit of a prick in this game. <laughs> to start off with, and I think it's a little bit... Um, it's fucking heavy-handed. And here we are, this is our first demon that we have to fight. Hey, asshole. So yeah, he's not happy in the slightest. He's a bit pissed. And this is pretty much the gimmick for the game, pretty much. That you start off in the real world and then the demons will drag you into this place which is Limbo. And that's how they're able to do all this kind of weird kind of um, platforming stuff and a load of demons gives it justification on how you can be fighting a load of demons which the original game I don't think needed justification it was just like it kind of happened and that again is just like nah it's kind of lame that scene was just not well done and here we go this is where we face off against our first enemy, the enemy we face throughout the majority of the game, these are the uh, lesser Stygians. And so yeah, this is the first group of enemies we have to face. Great, wait, jump! There you go. A lot of hack and slash, yay.
say you hold B. And this is a uh, pretty much a move which I'll be doing throughout the whole game really. <laughs> it's the move I uh, default to pretty much. And we got a white orb. Uh, slain enemies to release white orb which fills Dante's upgrade bar. Um, and this is how we are going to how we are going to um, improve our upgrades. Red orbs are basically currency, and it's dead. And that's an A rank. Nice start. Who said that? Okay, let's head this way. Hang on. Options. Subtitles. Yay! Thank you. And we can just jump. Uh, the thing that you should do when you're playing the oh, there my guns. Which don't look all that impressive. <laughs> oh well. Okay, that's not fun. You're no fun. So yeah, we just go escape here. One thing I will say about this um, game, uh, in comparison to the uh, DMC uh, games, is that the uh, platforming is a hell of a lot uh, better and it's a lot more responsive. Um, but you're also asked to do a hell of a lot more of it, so it kind of, so it kind of guess it kind of needs to be good. Shit, the guns do nothing. <laughs> yeah, run away, you bitch. Okay. Now we're after Bathos. These are your Target bog standard. Um, right on cue. These are your bog standard um, uh, flying enemies, and these are our guns, Ebony and Ivory, which are basically the uh, weapons which you, which are a staple of uh, Devil May Cry, I guess. Shoot! 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 shoot. Yeah, you're more dead. Press the LB button and you can uh and you can uh and that's the evade button pretty much. And of course as you go through the game there'll be upgraded versions of uh, um enemies. So I'm just having a look around. Dante! Don't shoot! My name is Kat. I'm not a demon. I'm still in the real you world. Sure? You're in limbo. How come I can see you clearly? I'm a medium, a, a psychic. I can phase into limbo and communicate with you. I can see you. Yeah, that makes sense. But I'm not <laughs> why not? In limbo with you. So how? Why do you say don't shoot then? Surely, if you're not in limbo, I can't kill you. I'm risking my life here for you. I want to help. Okay. I don't need your help. The hunter has dragged you into limbo. I can get you out. I've been down here before. I know how to get out. You fight whatever shit sucking demon dragged you in here. You don't want to fight the hunter. He's not your regular demon. Follow me. Yeah, now. so uh, it seems Dante has been dragged into limbo before. And. But the problem is. Uh, this is the problem with this version. Oh, I just stutter from time to time. Where'd which... you go? These are an enemy which they uh, brought back for uh, this game, which first appeared in uh, Devil May Cry. The little spiders, you attack them and you get red orbs. Same with these things. Lost Soul. Basically, the more of these you find and free, the greater your mission rank, and you also get a fuck ton of um, red orbs to buy stuff in the shop. And here's a gold key to open a secret door. Also, if any of these things start doing this, like they have like shri they shrivel and start have red stuff on them, hit them, you'll get some red orbs. Very useful. If you want as many, uh, pretty much you want as many red orbs as you can possibly get your hands on.
No, chim. Kill it. As I said, there's a lot of... Um... Yeah. And uh, you get an upgrade. So we've got an upgrade point. Upgrade point allows us to uh, upgrade... Um... As you can write, <laughs> as you can imagine, allows us to upgrade ourselves. You can upgrade various things like uh, you can upgrade weapon damage, and there are other things you can upgrade. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. So let's check around here. If we've got anything else I can uh, break, get some red orbs. Nope. 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 Okay. Let's head this way then. That's nothing. So yeah, hold A to jump higher, or you can just, uh, I just double jump everywhere to be honest. And we got a gold orb. So, gold orbs are, uh, can be bought from the shop as well, as well as being able to find them in the area, in throughout the levels. And these are pretty much, uh, fuck you. <laughs> these are pretty much, uh, resurrection items, so when you die, you, um, when you die, you instantly get resurrected by them at full health. Uh, this is a small Vital Star. Vital Stars recover health. They've been used since uh, Devil May Cry 1, I believe. And this is a Divinity Statue. So if we go into. Oop! Die, 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 There we go. Killed the spiders. So yeah, we can upgrade here. So you can upgrade Dante's abilities. Uh, update, upgrade the um, sword, and you can upgrade the uh, the uh, ebony and ivory, the guns. Um, you get different weapons as you go through the game, so yeah, you'll be able to upgrade those as well. Hacker level two, increase damage. Let's get that now, because you do get uh, upgrades at the end for each mi at the end of each mission you complete as well, which is nice. Ah, uh, you're back. Really? Is that my coat? How did it get up there? Ha! <laughs> ah, the questions Dante asks. Oh my god, he's throwing a fucking um <laughs> God he's throwing that ass, what the hell? I can't think of the name. Breaking you! And this kind of uh, gives you the impression that basically whatever happens in Limbo seems to have, uh, uh, affect the uh, real world as well. Which is kind of interesting for stuff that happens later in the game, I have to be honest. Come here! Shit. Jump, jump. Fuck you. Oh, at least I haven't been hit yet. Oop. I'm doing better than my first playthrough. Oh, I love, I love doing that. Nothing more satisfying than uh, getting an enemy to hit another enemy. Oh, you're back. How are you? Still ugly as fuck, I see. Hey, get down here and fight. Ooh, time to run. In we go. I will say that design for the grappling thing is kind of cool. It's like a rock, rocky kind of um, hand that he's firing at. That's one thing I will say. At least the uh, at least the. Uh, Oh shit! You hit me! Fuck off! At least the enemy, the enemy variety is a uh, pretty good. Hey, and here we go! I can show this off. These are uh, little side missions. These are completely optional. Um, but they give you uh, items and stuff 
All enemies, kill all enemies in the time limit. Uh, so, yep. Basically, you just gotta kill them all within the time limit. Yep. The time limits early on are pretty, um... Ow! Are pretty, you know... Very lenient early on. And for that we get... This thing. Run through it. And this is a health cross fragment. Collect four health fragments to create a health cross. Uh, basically, it's basically heart containers. You collect for so you complete all the site. So you'd only do this to um, uh, improve your, increase your health bar if you want to do that. Um, you don't. It's like I say, they're completely optional. And to be honest, I will probably show off. Uh, I'll probably do four of them, and then I'll probably not do any more than that. God, this guy's got... Big. Big guy, but he's got no fucking strength, apparently. 